Volleyball fans and welcome to Lorraine Southview High School. It's volleyball action between the Lady Saints and the Lady Admirals of Lorraine Admiral King High School as they wrap up the 2002 volleyball season. This will be the last match of the season for both teams as they get ready for tournament action next week and we'll be talking more about that later. I'm Ron Bacalar, along with my partner once again, Ray Bastock, who lends all the expertise to these volleyball matches, and our producer and director and cameraman, Joe Bach. And Ray, last time around, when we saw these two teams playing at Lorraine Admiral King High School, it was Southview winning in two, and yet there's a lot of potential there on the Lady Admirals volleyball team. How do you see the action taking place tonight? Well, I think the Admirals are not going to take this lying down. I think they have a lot to gain today. They have a, a pride to get back from the last game, and, and they want to go into the sectional tournament winning. All right. The Admirals, by the way, are 13-8 and eight coming into this match tonight. The Lady Saints are 16-4, and four, and their four losses, two to Illyria and two to Mentor, in the LEL Lake Division. So we're going to see what's going to transpire and we'll get this match underway right after this important timeout. Since 1921, your hometown financial professionals at First Federal Savings of Lorraine have dedicated themselves to meeting the financial needs of their customers and surrounding communities. They offer a wide variety of financial investments as well as home mortgages to meet your every need. Loans on boats, cars, mobile homes, and other worthwhile purchases are also available. Whatever your financial need, First Federal Savings of Lorraine is ready to help. Seven convenient locations to serve you in Lorraine, Huron, Sandusky, Port Clinton, and now at 36690 Detroit Road in Avon. First Federal Savings of Lorraine is an equal housing lender and FDIC insured. And there you see the Lady Saints getting their last moment instructions from their coaches, Gina Kelly and Sharon Griffith, the two uh, co-coaches for the Lady Saints. Their starters tonight will be number three, Brittany Ruiz, number four, Christina Jackson, number six, Anita Cruz, number 11, LaShondra McClinn, number 12, Christina Shuka, and number 10, Alicia Orocho. For the Lady Admirals, coached by Mike Maletti, the starters will be number 19, Shayla Gilbert, number 10, Caitlin Donnelly, number 22, Amy Mahalski, number 24, Christina Mantini, number 21, Heather Selva, and number 11, Lynn Rossitano. As we indicated, the Lady Saints are 16 and four, the Lady Admirals are 13 and eight. The freshman match earlier uh, this afternoon, which got underway at 4.30, on this Thursday, October 10th, the Southview Saints Lady Freshman defeated Admiral King 2-1. So the Lady Saints Freshman winning two of the matches. The Lady Admirals for the Freshman of Admiral King winning one. In the JV contest, the Lady Saints won them both back-to-back, -back, shutting out the Lady Admirals. The Lady Saints JV team winding up the season 13-6 and coach Laura Wolford got a real drenching from her team as they bought bottles of water and poured them all over. Coach Wolford. I guess that beats uh, Gatorade. A whole Gatorade. Which is yeah. sticky. Yeah. <laughs> all right, the Lady Admirals are serving and it's Amy Mahalski. Already the first uh, volley is going better than the whole game did last time. Yes, yes indeed. These two teams look like they really want to play Absolutely. and they both want to win, I'm certain. Oh, nice block there yes. at the net by Heather Selva. Oh. And trying to do the kill, the ball going into the net so the serve will go over to the Lady Saints. Heather just didn't have enough on that hit. Kind of got tired after running around there for a minute or so. 
It's the best two out of three between these two varsity teams. Just getting underway in game number one. No score yet. Whoa, there's a score. That was a good old block there by Christina Jackson. She's, she's terror on the net when she's up on front. The fact that it didn't hit the floor but was touched momentarily by one of the Lady Admirals, would that still be considered a kill? Uh, it's only a kill on a hit, not on a block. Oh, okay, yeah. on a hit, not on a block. Uh, yeah, gotcha. On a hit. We're still learning, sports fans. We'll Heather see. Salva's attempt to get the ball into the Southview court uh, missing out, so the Lady Saints have an early 2 to nothing lead. They have lost the service, and it's now the Lady Admirals once again, and it's LaShondra McClinn doing the service. I think you got serving. it backwards. <laughs> oh, you're yes, right. Yes. I do. It's Lynn Rossitano. <laughs> team, okay. Let me turn these pages so King is to my left. Get him on the right are. side of the court. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, nice oh, block by block. Jamie King. Jamie King in that... Uh, Line up now for the Lady Admirals. That's got to make Admirals feel real good to get one back on Christina Jackson. All right, so the score is now Southview 2, Admiral King 1. Once again, Lynn Rossitano serving for the Lady Admirals. Nice. And a block nice. on Christina Jackson shot by, again, Jamie King. Well, King looks up and ready to play today. Hopefully we'll get some good matches out of them. We're all tied up at two apiece. Christina's got to learn how to angle that ball away from that block on those hits so she can get it down. Once again, Lynn Rossitano doing the serve. That's coming back. And it's, I guess, off the fingertips of one of the Lady Admirals going out of bounds, so the serve will now go to the Lady Saints. And having the honors, number six, Anita Cruz. Jamie King's attempt is blocked by Christina Jackson. So it's 3-2 now, Lady Saints with a one point advantage. Nice block by Christina. Oh, and a tip right into the court, and that done by the Lady Admirals, number 19, Shayla Gilbert. I think Lynn Rosatano fooled everybody on that back set. I think everybody was ready to go to Jamie King to block, and she just did a nice back set, and they were able to get the ball over. And it's Shayla Gilbert who will now serve for the Lady Admirals. Ooh. And a bunny by Christina Jackson just tipped it right over the net. She read that block this time. She wasn't going to get blocked again. <laughs> All right, serve now goes to the Lady Saints, 3-2. to two. Southview in the lead. And that one going out of bounds. So again, the serve will change hands. Heather Salva serving now for the Lady Admirals. Net. They said Christina was in the net, and that was a pretty touchy call because I didn't see that net move too much on that one. So we have a tie score, 3 3, as Heather Salva continues to serve for the Lady Admirals. Terry King getting the ball into the Southview court, and it was Anita Cruz couldn't quite get the handle on it. So the Lady Admirals now take a one-point advantage, 4-3. Think King's ready to play today. I do believe that. Once again, Heather Salva serving for the Lady Admirals. And that one going out of bounds, another point, 5-3. Admiral King and a timeout is called on the floor. The Lady Admirals leading 5-3 to three in game one of this best two out of three between King and Southview. Prior to the start of this varsity match, uh, we had the national anthem sung by Justine Arroyo. 
Now, Justine is a student here at Lorraine Southview High School and a member of the JV volleyball team. And I have to say in all sincerity, Ray, I have yet to hear a young lady sing a song the way she did. Even yeah. being the national anthem, which is not an easy song no. to sing. It was, she was real. She was yeah. superb and words cannot express no. just how great. If anything, she should be a candidate for American, no, American Idol, Idol number two. Absolutely. I think she shocked almost everybody in the gym. Oh, it, was, it was like pure silence until she reached the end. Yes. Just a magnificent job. As Heather Salva continues to do a magnificent job serving. And the Lady Admirals now with a three-point advantage, 6-3. But uh, to be honest with you, I have heard professionals doing the national anthem at sporting events, mm -hmm. this young lady, Justine Arroyo, uh, is right up there with the best of them. Yeah, she was real good, did real well. Well, the Lady Admirals have lost the serve. It now goes to Southview and with the honors for the Lady Saints, Christina Jackson. Good block at the net by the Lady Saints, LaShondra McClinn. Oh, wow. my. That is some outstanding volleyball play. Yes, it was by both teams. That was great. And that will be a point for the Lady Saints. They trail now by two, six, four. And that was good net play by LaShondra. She hung in there and kept putting that ball back on King's side. And that was some good play. Couldn't quite grab All that right. one. Lady Saints lose the serve to Admiral King, 6-4. King leading by two. The, the one thing that King is doing this time that they did not do last time was pass the ball well. And they're able to pass the ball, and Lynn is able to get some good sets, and they can actually hit. And that's what's doing it for them today. Caitlin Donnelly serving for the Lady Admirals. Oh, nice save in there by yes. Miss uh, Mantini. See, good pass, you get a good and set, there. and you get a good hit. It's all in that first pass. If you can get that pass up to your setter, your setter can do wonders. 7-4, Lady Admirals leading by three. Caitlin Donnelly uh, doing the serving. She's a five foot six inch. Uh, she played volleyball two years. Varsity one year, also plays basketball and softball, and she sings in the school concert choir. She's a member of the National Honor Society with a four-point GPA. That's Caitlin Donnelly. Oh, oh a good save, quite. but they couldn't recover the Lady Saints. And it's now 8-4, Lady Admirals doubling up the score. We are in game one. Caitlin Donnelly still serving. Oh. And that one going off the arms of Southview's Vanessa. Vanessa Santana now in the lineup. 9-4. The back row's got to call Vanessa off that ball. It was going out. And they need to let her know that. Christina Jackson knocks it out of bounds and another point for the Lady Admirals, 10-4. They're five points away and we've got a timeout on the floor and the Lady Admirals very ecstatic. They smell victory already here in game one. We'll be back with more action right after this timeout. 
Your one-stop place for something really special is Impressions, corner of Oberlin Avenue and Tower Boulevard. T-shirts and sweatshirts personally designed to your specific needs. Anything from bears, trains to zebras, and specially designed hats as well. And don't forget Impressions, your one-stop spot for school jackets. See Dave, the designer expert at Impressions, Oberlin Avenue at Tower Boulevard, right here in Lorraine. Christina Mantini shot that one into the backcourt of the Lady Saints and it went out of bounds as they tried to uh, get it into uh, play. Coming out for the Lady Saints now is Vanessa Santana. In the lineup, Brittany Ruiz. Along with Nina Gonzalez, number eight now in the lineup. Blown serve by King. Kind of hard to take when you're on a roll. And you're only four the points 11 down. 11-4. Nina Gonzalez now serving for the Lady Saints. Oh. And a nice save by Nicole yes. Frage. That was a nice pass. One needs to do something with those. There you go. Well, Christina Mantini was right there at the net. She wasn't going to let that ball come into her court. Now she's got the serve. Christina Mantini. Number 24, she is a captain of this volleyball team, a senior. Her position is outside hitter. This is her fourth year of varsity volleyball for Admiral King. She was second team all county as a sophomore. She missed out on her junior season with an injury during her very first match. She tore her ACL. Ooh. Now that's a leg muscle. I'd say. All right. Some of the other sports that uh, Christina Mantini plays, varsity basketball. She is a member of the National Honor Society. She is the daughter of Ron and Gloria Mantini. And the Lady Saints lose the service. 11-4, it comes back to the Lady Admirals. Christina Mantini's future plans to attend the Ohio State University and major in physical therapy and sports medicine. She is a member of the Lorraine Educational Athletic Program. Now serving for the Lady Admirals is number 22, Amy Mahalski. Lady Admirals with the point, 12-4. Oh, my goodness. And another point for the Lady Admirals. It's now 13-4, two away from a win. Amy Mahalski is a 5-5 senior, a defensive specialist. She played volleyball four years, been on the varsity two of those years. She also plays basketball. She is the daughter of John and Joellen Mahalski. She is on the youth ministry leadership team at her church. And in her spare time, Amy Mahalski wow. says she likes to go shopping. She plans on attending college and major in, bless her heart, broadcasting. There's another one that can come back and take your job. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Seth yeah. Heather Salva right there at the net. 14-4. King is ready to play, and they're sure getting it back at the Saints, aren't they? Amy Mahalski with the serve. This could be the point that wins the first game. Isn't that what happened last year, though? King won at Southview, Southview won at King. I do believe you're right. Yeah. I do believe you're right. We have some kind of uh, confusion here on the court. They want a service check, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. Or is this a tactic by Southview to stall and sh ice the <laughs> server? <laughs> Game point. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
Well, the officials are trying to determine whatever the problem is, and we have no idea what that problem is. I think they're confused. Actually, what I think may be happening, because he keeps looking at his card, and, and on that card is the service rotation, so it's either G Gina Kelly thinks somebody was out of rotation on Kingside, or maybe there was one too many substitutions. Mm. It looks like they're confused about a service rotation because he keeps checking his card and um, looking at numbers. I think that's what it is, a service. You've got to be in the same rotation every time on the court. Everybody has a spot, and then after the ball is served, you can move wherever. Oh, okay. But at the beginning of the serve, you all have to be in your positions on the court, and she's probably questioning that. But like I said, it could be a tactic to ice the server. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they do that a couple weeks ago against Pittsburgh? Or Pittsburgh did that against the Browns, right? They tried oh, yeah, out. they called that timeout yeah. when, you know. The, and it, the it worked. It <laughs> comes out. Well, I'll tell you, a lot of things have been working against the Browns You're not lately. Kidding. And they've got a big one coming up. Yes. Well, by the time our sports fans in Lorraine are watching this, the Browns have already played Play, Tampa yeah. Bay. Well, we at least know who the starting quarterback is. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And he has a lot to prove. Yes, I think he does. That's, that's why they get paid that much money, I think, right? Well, I've heard a lot and I've read a lot concerning <laughs> that situation, but when you look at a man making $40 million, uh, uh -huh. I as a retired teacher, you as a Absolutely. elementary teacher, and uh, there it is. There's the, the icing serve of the server. <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> the serve went out of bounds, so now it... <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Comes back to the Lady Saints. Doing the serving now for the Saints, Alicia Neely. Hey, nice. and a pop right in by the Lady Admirals. That's Shayla Gilbert. So King gets the serve back, and it's Lynn Rossitano, number 11. She's five foot six. Her position is setter. She played volleyball for four years, varsity for three. She is a uh, co-captain, and she is a student council president, a member of the National Honor Society. Lynn is also a member of the band and the Lorraine Admiral King Chamber Singers. She is on the youth ministry leadership team at her church. Okay, now if I was King's coach right now, I'd be highly upset because every time my server goes to serve, they're waiting. I kind of would be mad and say, get the ball and play already. Well, that's a good serve by Lynn Rossitano. Oh! Nope. And Jamie wow, King twice. Wow. He's saying that she was an attempted block, and when you attempt a block and you touch it, you are allowed to hit it again. They're saying no. I don't know how they're saying no, but they're saying no. So the serve goes back to the Lady Saints. And it's out of bounds, and it's a point for the Lady Saints. They now trail by 9, 14-5. Anita Cruz serving for the Lady Saints, losing it on that one, which went out of bounds. And it's now Shayla Gilbert. Oh. And there's the point that wins the first game, 15-5. Lady Admirals winning the first one, 15-5. We'll be back with the start of the second right after this timeout. message is intense, but if you complete the journey, you will find your destiny among the world's greatest warriors. The few, the proud, the Marines. Well, shortly game two will get underway. The Lady Admirals, as we've indicated, winning game one, 15 to five. The uh, first time these two teams met at Admiral King High School, it was two and out. 
with the Lady Saints victorious. In fact, uh, coming into that match, which was back on September 17th, the Lady Saints, uh, in all their victories and the two losses that they had uh, coming into that match were all done in two games. Well, the Lady Saints had their first three-game match against Lorraine Catholic at home on October 7th, earlier this week, which they did win in the best two out of three. And this will be the second match of their regular season where they're going to have to go at least three if they manage to win this second game. That wasn't a good start. And the Lady Saints lose the service, and it goes to the Lady Admirals. Lynn Rossitano will begin the serve here in game two. No score, just getting underway. These two teams will be going into tournament action on Tuesday, October 15th at Midview High School, the sectional tournament. Both of them will be playing on the same day, not against each other, though. In the early game at 6.30, it will be the Lady Admirals against Brunswick, while the 7.45 game will have the Lady Saints going against Westlake. The amazing thing, and I find it amazing if there's such a thing as an opportunity to comment, uh, in the posting of the uh, seeded teams, Amherst was seeded number one, Illyria seeded number two, ranked sixth, by the way, in the state. Midview was uh, seeded number three, and Strongsville, with a poorer record than Southview, was seeded number four. The Lady Saints only managed to get two votes in the seeding from Illyria's uh, coach, Russo, and from their own coach. Nice shot. Lady Saints with a one-point advantage, and the serve will now go out to the Lady Admirals. Talking to Coach Griffith prior to the start of the match, I said, how is it that you were not seated? He said, uh, she said, well, uh, the teams that were voting, the coaches Mm -hmm. pretty much voted on conference line. Oh, yeah. Well, my husband coaches at Lorraine Catholic for basketball, and uh, I remember when they came back from the seating last year, they were upset because they had a better record than a team that was seated. And it all goes by who plays against whom, who sees who, and it's, it's sometimes unfair. Having been involved eight years as faculty manager of athletics at uh, Admiral King High School, I uh, happen to be party to a lot of the uh, drawings that take place. And, and I have to say in all sincerity, and I, and I doubt very much if there would be a lot of people disagreeing with me, there's a, there's a lot of politicking going Absolutely. on when it comes to that portion. And, and that's sad because the kids lose. Yes. And, that, and that's what happens. But it, it is. When you go to the seating meetings, it's, it's almost who's buddies with who or who can give something to somebody else. And, and that's a shame. And, like I said, we've been on, I've been on that end with my husband after that uh, seating last year for basketball. And boy, it's a, hard th- it's a hard thing to swallow. And then you got the Saints only losing four games. It's a hard thing to swallow. Well, hard we confusion. wish them well in the tournament. Like we said, the Lady Saints will play at 745 against Westlake at Midview High School. The Lady Admirals will play at 630 on Tuesday, October 15th against Brunswick. Well, the officials finally got everything all squared away, whatever the situation happened to be, and uh, we're back into action with the Lady Saints leading in game one, or game two, one to nothing. Heather Salva had served for the Lady Admirals, and Miss King, Jamie King, dropping it into the Southview court, and we have a tie game, one one. Heather Salva continuing to serve. Heather Rose Selva. She is a senior, five foot nine, middle hitter, played volleyball for four years, varsity for three years. She also plays basketball and softball. She is the treasurer of her senior class, president of the Foreign Language Club, 
vice president of the Future Educators of America. She is a member of the National Honor Society and holds a four-point GPA. She is also a member of LEAP and plans to go on to college. That was a nice long volley. You got enough, you, you got to read all of that during the Well, I got a chance to get that all in, absolutely. 1-1 one, one is our score and the Admirals losing the serve. It will now go to the Lady Saints. And coming in to do the honors for the Lady Saints, Brittany Ruiz. Now, just in case uh, you did not join us on TV20 for the first match between these two teams at Admiral King back uh, on uh, September 17th, we highlighted all of the Lady Saints. And tonight we are highlighting the Lady Admirals. Lady Saints with a one point advantage now, two to one. Oh, nice and shot. it's going to be the Lady Admiral serving. Good shot by Jamie King. Another reason King is doing so well today, and they seem to be so focused and together, is Lynn Rosatano is doing a nice job running that team. She's the setter, so she's the go-to girl, and she is just getting those sets up, and they're looking nice, and her hitters are getting to hit. Caitlin Donnelly, the server for Admiral King. She is just in charge today. Ooh, bad call. Bad call. That was terrible. And I think the crowd thinks it's terrible, too, because they're booing. Now, when you say bad call, what was the official indicating was wrong and he's apparently saying, was not? Yeah, he's saying that it was a roll off her fingers, almost like a lift, because it looks like almost she caught it. But it, you, you can't do that when you do it with your fingers like a set. But she seemed to get that clean. I think that was a Oh, nice call. block at Woo! the net. Back and in the court. that was done by Sarah Gittich for the Lady Admirals. When you want to block, you want to block it back into your opponent's court, and she did that. And the Saints weren't ready for it. Christina Mantini now serving for the Lady Admirals. On that beautiful block by Sarah Gittich, number 17. She is a five foot 10 inch junior. Her position is middle hitter. She's involved in other sports as well as volleyball. Track for three years. Been involved in volleyball for three years. Some of her other activities include Foreign Language Club and the National Honor Society. That's Sarah Gittich for the Lady Admirals, number 17. And we have a tie score, 2-2. Christina Mantini. Still having the honors at the serve. That's coming back. Ooh, oh, you can't do that. That was right into the net yeah. as opposed to over the net. So she was too excited to hit. She wasn't, ball wasn't quite high enough. Alicia Rocho now serving for the Lady Saints. Lynn there is, oh it goes. my goodness. She is just having one heck of a game. Now there's a redemption by Shayla Gilbert. Yes, she hit that, she hit that square and nice. It's, setter's kind of the, uh, the position that nobody sees. It makes it, she makes it happen, but everybody sees the hit. And the hit was good, but boy, the set was there too. You gotta Amy give Mahalski serving for Admiral King. We're tied up at 2-2 here in game two. First game won by the Lady Admirals, 15-5. Hey! Uh, oh, that was out. That one out of bounds, so Lady Admirals will lose the serve. And uh, Serving now for Southview will be Christina Shuka. And off the hands of Christina Jackson going out of bounds, and that will be giving the ball back to Admiral King. A 
Lynn Rossitano. Serving for Admiral King. And that one hit out of bounds by the Lady Saints, Mary Rush. Number one now in the lineup. She is a senior. Lady Admirals with a one point advantage, 3-2. That one also out of bounds, make it 4-2. I think somewhere between October 17th or when was it the last time? September 17th? September 17th. I think these two teams switched identities. <laughs> <laughs> nice block in there by Heather Selva. Nice save. Shayla nice Gilbert and a and save in there by the Lady oh, Saints. It can, nope, a lift. That's called a lift. Yep. It's 5-2, Lady Admirals leading by three, and we have a timeout on the floor. 5-2, King leading here in game two of this particular match. Checking some of the other Admiral King players while we have the timeout, uh, a co-captain, Shayla Gilbert, number 19 for the Lady Admirals, is a senior. Her position is outside attacker. She played volleyball for four years, this being the fourth. She's been on the varsity two years. She also plays basketball and runs track. She is a member of the National Honor Society, a member of the Lorraine Educational Athletic Program. She is the daughter of Jerry and Barbara Gilbert. She has a 3.4 GPA, plans on attending college to major in nursing and to become a nurse. And here is a fancy word anesthesiologist, wow. an, an anesthetist. Say that five times real fast. And she plans on min minoring, bless her heart, in broadcasting. They must now, have watched you, you a lot. How do you <laughs> equate the two? I don't know. Somebody who She's is She's going to broadcast surgeries, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> puts people under. <laughs> and then, yeah, broadcast surgery. <laughs> there you go. Lady Admirals picking up another point, 6-2. Their advantage by four now. Vanessa Santana returns to the Saints lineup. That's good. And a Good serve or hit back by Christina Jackson. Could not be recovered by the Lady Admirals, so the serve is out and it goes to the Lady Saints. And with the honors now is Alicia Neely. Nice pass. Oh, and a good stick back by Heather Selva. Could not be recovered by the Lady Saints, Vanessa Santana, so the Lady Admirals get the serve back. They lead by four, six to two in game two, having won the first 15-5. Oh, great save, but it goes out of bounds at the net. Anita Cruz now serving for the Lady Saints. That one hit out of bounds. Lady Saints picking up the point, 6-3. Lady Admirals leading by three. Here's Southeast Chance. Cut this lead. Nice play by Christina Jackson. She found the open spot. Oh, they were ready for that. Heather Salva with that one. Wow, and Christina put it Mantini down. puts it into the South. No court. way. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, I cannot believe. Oh, he got a yellow card too. What a game. That was a very, that, that was a bad call again. Who got the yellow card? The coach. Oh, for Admiral King? Yeah, it's kind of like a technical foul. Ah. But they just warn him, yellow card. Red card and he has to leave, And huh? I think he has to go bye-bye, yeah. Well, the Lady Saints trail by just one Put now. Put down. Oh, and she, and she dug it up. Right between her hands. Christina Mantini this time. That's, uh, that's a good one. Lady Admirals get the serve back. Heather Salva. Lady Saints take the uh, serve now, and with the honors, number three, Brittany Ruiz. Lady Saints trailing still by one, 6-5 our score here in the second game. Ooh, oh, didn't quite have enough on that. Christina Mantini just couldn't get it over the net, so that's a point that ties Tie the game, game. 6-6. Six, six. Well, right now, King needs to get it back under control. They seem to be running all over the place on the court. That's in. This time, Christina Mantini makes it good, and the Lady Admirals get the serve back, all tied up at 6-6. We are in game two. Right over her. Wait, a, she woke up on that one. Oh, that one's going to go out of bounds. Hard. Yep. And it's Christina Jackson now with the serve for the Lady Saints. Whoa, nice save by Christina Schuchel. Nice. Ooh. This time around, number 11 for the Lady Saints. Just couldn't quite handle it. LaShondra McClinn did a great job in the uh, return prior to that one. Both playing scrappy right now. Serve goes back to the Lady Admirals. Christina Mantini. The jump serve. That is good. That ball is good. They're kind of shaky. Woo, that is an ace. That that's ball, an ace. That ball was in there. I don't know what took so long. 7-6. Lady Admirals now lead by a point. And right into the net. Serve is lost, and it goes over to Southview. Jump serves are nice. They throw the, the other team off a little bit, but consistency is better. you got to get the ball in. Alicia Orocho now in the game for the Saints. She's got the honors serving. That ball's and out. that one goes out of bounds, so it will go right back to Admiral King. Amy Mahalski. Will serve now for the Lady Admirals. Nice shot, cross court. It was a good hit and good pickup by the Saints. Mm. And into the net on that uh, stick back by the Saints, LaShondra McClinn. And that gives the Lady Admirals a two-point advantage now. They lead 8-6 here in game two, having won the first game 15-5. Oh. 
And there's another point for the Lady Admirals, 9-6. And we've got Southview calling a timeout. We'll be back with more action right after this. Hey, party cam. Hey. Check out Tracy, she's so late. Hey, John, man. Chill, let us sleep it off. Uh, you know what, guys? It's time to go. I'll meet you downstairs. Go, go. Hey, Joe, hey. what's up? <laughs> Turn that thing off. Marijuana. Yeah, sure, it's harmless. Amy Mahalski continues the serve for the Lady Admirals with a three-point advantage, 9-6 over Southview. And make it a four-point advantage, 10-6. My, oh, my. I think Safi is a little shocked right now. Their faces just look like, I can't believe this is happening. That's coming back. Oh, oh she missed and it. Oh, Heather just couldn't get the handle on that one. So the serve will go to the Lady Saints. Her eyes got big. She was ready to go. Swing and a miss. <laughs> <laughs> Christina Shuka serving for Southview. Hello. And it will come right back to the Admirals. 21, Heather Salva. That time she made it good. She wasn't missing that one. Jamie King now in the lineup for the Lady Admirals, a six foot two senior. She is the right side hitter, played varsity volleyball for four years and played varsity basketball for three years. And this season she'll be going into her fourth year as a that varsity a, basketball player. That was a nice back row hit by Christina Jackson. Jamie King also uh, having spent two years on the varsity softball team. She is a member of the National Honor Society, the daughter of Sherry and Terry King. In her spare time, she enjoys going to support the Cleveland Indians. Bless her heart. They need all the support I, I, they yeah. can get, at least for a couple <laughs> more years, and then look out. I hope. Right? Well, we've been promised by uh, Mr. Shapiro, oh, okay. that by 2004, look out. All right. And the serve there by the Lady Admirals, uh, Shayla Gilbert going out of bounds. It comes right back to Southview, and it's Anita Cruz. And it comes right back again to the Lady Admirals, who lead in game two by four points, 10-6. Amy Mihalski is coming out, and she has done a great job in the back row with those passes. That's what's given this team some good hits. Heather Salva serving for the Lady Admirals. Oh! And the hit there by the Lady Admiral Sarah Gittich. Just didn't quite make it over the net. We've been stuck on this 10-6 for a while, I think. Brittany Ruiz serving now for Southview. Nice hit by Jamie. Nice hit. Jamie King, and she gets the serve right back to Admiral King. Jamie comes out of the lineup. Coming in now to serve for Admiral King, Caitlin Donnelly. Oh, and it's hit out of bounds. It'll come right back to Southview. Christina Jackson will have the Honors serving for Southview. Yeah. 
And there's a good shot by Sarah Gittich for Admiral King, and the serve comes now back to the Admirals. Christina Mantini. This time she didn't use the nope. running and jump serve. More, more important to get it over. Oh, Whoa. just no one there to grab it. Caitlin Donnelly gave it her best shot. Couldn't reach it in time, so the serve now goes back to Southview. Like you said, we've been stuck on 10-6 for quite some time. Yep. Vanessa They're Santana serving for Southview. That's good. And wow, that almost. one is going to be a point for the Saints. They now trail by three, 10-7. Good pass, nice set, and downed it. There we go. That shot by the Lady Admirals, Shayla Gilbert. She's on fire today. She's Amy Mahalski now in the lineup. She'll be doing the serving for Admiral King. That's a good pass. Good set. Good hit. It's tight. Oh. And in this seesaw battle of serves, it comes back to Southview with Christina Shuka. Back and forth. <laughs> yeah. It's like tennis. There we go. Good save, and it goes out of bounds, though. Just couldn't quite be controlled by Vanessa Santana. So the serve goes back to the Lady Admirals, and it's uh, Lynn Rossitano. Coming. And a point for the Lady Admirals. They now lead by four, 11-7. Nice pass. Jamie King just couldn't quite get it over as it was brought back. Nice but shot. But that time it was done by Shayla Gilbert. Lady Admirals just three points away from game number two and the match. 12-7 is our score. Gina Kelly better start thinking timeout soon. Nice set. And that will get the serve back to Southview. Alicia Neely in to serve for the Lady Saints. Tight pass. Oh my, and that's going to be a point for Southview. 12-8, they trail by four. Jamie King hitting it out of bounds. Another point for the Lady Saints. 12-9. Southview trailing by three. Bad, come on, get it. There you go. Good play by King. Oh! Shayla Gilbert hitting it out of bounds. And Coach Good Mike Maletti wants to talk this situation over as the Lady Saints now trail by just two. 12 to 10 with the timeout on the floor. And we have one more Lady Admiral to talk about, uh, and that is number 18, Nicole Frage, a senior. She is a five foot seven inch uh, senior. Uh, her position is middle hitter. Other sports that she's involved in, basketball. She's been on the varsity team for two years. A total of three altogether playing basketball for Coach Bieber. 
She also runs track and has been on the track team for four years. She is the senior class president and a member of the National Honor Society for the past three years. Uh, she's a female mentoring and upward bound student. Been involved in that for two years. She has a GPA of four point. In her spare time, she enjoys shopping and talking on the telephone. She plans to attend Howard University and major in architecture and minor in interior design. She then plans to attend law school. And you're upset about something, Ray, as I was doing I just doing think that, that was a, a, again, there was a, I, I don't know. Look, yeah, look, looked into us up here. I don't know. We got some shaky calls down there. Anyway, it was a point for the Lady Saints. Yep. And it's another one. It's a and tie another ball one. game. We're all tied up now at 12-12. Yes. Lady Admirals beginning to lose their composure. Well, I think what they need to do is, there you go, that's what they need. They need to give it to her. They need to get it the ball. She's hot, and they need to get it to her. And you know what? That ball was in, and it was almost called out again. They, they got to make sure they make those calls. And, and, of course, the two line judges on the end there are just fans. So. Shayla Gilbert uh, serving for the Lady Admirals, and that's going to be a, king, a point for King. They now take a one-point advantage, 13-12. So they're, they're not experts out there on the court, so it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a very tense situation to be a line judge when it's a close game. Little miscommunication there on the Saints' part. And that hit back uh, by Heather Salva going out of bounds, so the serve will go to the Lady Saints, who trail by one. It's 13-12 here in game two. And that's in. That so the good. serve will go back to Admiral King. Lady Admirals needing two points to win game two and to win the match. Heather Salva will have the honor serving for Admiral King. Good pass, good set. They're ready for that one, coming back. Jamie King yes. and she gets it in there. That's a kill. 14-12, one point away from victory. That's Jamie's eyes lit up on that one. Here it comes, I'm smashing it. And she did. Oh, net And serve. that hit the net, just nipped the top of the net, which you are not allowed to do. No, you are not. And you don't get a second chance like in tennis. No, you don't. So the serve goes back to the Lady Saints. And it's Brittany Ruiz. Oh, and that one's going out of bounds. A point for Southview, 14-13. They trail now by one, and the winning team must win by two points. And that's going to be a point for the Lady Saints. It's all tied up, 14-14. They've got to win by two, though. Michael set up Jamie King, except for you need to get a good pass. <laughs> and there's another point, 15-14. Admiral King calling timeout. Lady Saints need one more point to win this second game. The Lady Admirals coming out like a house on fire in game one, winning that one 15-5. And Southview, smelling that defeat, which they don't want, have come alive here in game two. Your uh, assessment of what's happening here. I think King thought they had it in the bag and, and relaxed a little bit. I, I, I think they needed to get the ball to um, Shayla Gilbert more often because she was hot and they got away from that. And Southview gained momentum. And a lot of the uh, hitbacks by Admiral King were going out of bounds, giving mm -hmm. Southview either yep. the ball or a point. Yep. There it is. 
Lady Saints winning game number two, 16-14, and we will have game number three. This will be the uh, second time the Lady Saints have gone three games in all of their volleyball matches all season long coming into this one, 16-4, 16, 16 wins, four losses. And here I thought I'd get home in time to watch CSI. Oh well. Maybe somebody out there videotaped it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and would be nice enough to lend me the tape. All right, we'll be back with uh, more action in game number three, the third and final one as the two teams change courts. Lady Saints will be in the north court. Lady Admirals in the south court. Back in a moment. Hello, I'm Chief Sal Rivera. And I'm Officer Michael Phelan. This year, the Lorraine Police Department, in partnership with Lorraine City Schools and the Morning Journal, is introducing an exciting new program called Do the Right Thing. The purpose of the program is to publicly honor and recognize kids who display proper behavior and proper attitudes. You can pick up a nomination form in your local city school or in the Lorraine Morning Journal. Let's fill out those nomination forms so we can honor the kids who do the right thing in the city of Lorraine. All right, we're all set for the third and final game of this best two out of three match between the varsity squads of Lorraine Admiral King High School, the visiting team, and Lorraine Southview High School, the home team. And by the way, all of the player profiles that we gave this evening for the Lady Admirals provided for us by the players themselves and by Coach Mike Maletti, and we thank them very much. If anyone was missed, it is not our fault. We simply presented what was given to us. <laughs> Lady Saints take an early lead here in game number three. They've got a point. Christina Shuka serving for Southview. That one going out of bounds. The serve will now go to the Lady Admirals. And it will be Lynn Rossitano. Oh, how oh. can they not be ready for that? That's a bad sign when you're not ready for a little dump like that. Lady Admiral's losing the serve. It'll go back to Southview. And with the honors for the Saints, Elisha Neely. Jamie King shot out of bounds, so it's a point for Southview. They've got a 2-0 advantage. Wow. Shayla Gilbert shot going out of bounds. 3-0 Southview. Even though this is our final volleyball match of the season for uh, TV20, there's still high school football action remaining. There they go. There comes the serve back to the Lady Admirals. Let's see if Southview can get a good defensive play here. This week you're now watching the uh, Lorraine Southview varsity football team as they played host to the Euclid Panthers at George Daniel Stadium in game number eight of the uh, 10 game season. So here on TV 20, we've got two more games remaining and that will be game number nine. We'll have Admiral King playing host to the Cleveland Heights Tigers. And then the 10th and final game of the season here on TV 20 will be the classic Admiral King Southview clash at George Daniel Stadium. As the serve has gone back and forth now, back to the Lady Admirals, and it's Heather Selva. That was a good pass.
Oh, see you. Oh! Woo. Her hand must have hit the net underneath. A point for the Lady Admirals. They trail now by two. It's three to one. We are in game three. The first game won by Admiral King, 15-5. Game two won by Southview, 16-14. And that one hit out of bounds, so Southview will get the serve back. Earlier this uh, afternoon in the freshman contest, the Southview freshman victorious over Admiral King in three games, two to one. And in the JV contest, Southview victorious Ooh. in that one, two nothing. And that's a point for the Lady Admirals. I think it's no, they side got out. the serve. Yeah, side, side out. out. Okay, Southview had the serve. Caitlin Donnelly serving for Admiral Oh, King. that almost went over. And that one falling back after hitting the uh, curtain. curtain that separates the gymnasium during class time. Three to two, Admiral King trailing by one. There comes Christina. Ooh. And they blocked it out of bounds. Good shot by Christina. Side out, Southview will serve. Christina Jackson will have the honors. So you have two more football games or three more? Well, while this match is being aired on TV 20, uh, we have two games remaining. Okay. Admiral King and Cleveland Heights in game number nine, and then King and Southview in the 10th and final encounter of the season. Because the game that will be played tomorrow night, since we are doing this game on Thursday, October 10th, tomorrow night, Friday, October 11th, it will be Southview against Euclid. So that game is airing now on TV 20 along with this volleyball match. Okay. And then it's basketball. Basketball right <laughs> after the first of the year. And wrestling. And wrestling. Are you doing wrestling? Oh yeah, right. absolutely. We've done wrestling between these two high schools. That one hitting the net. Can't afford that. Southview with a two point advantage, four to two. Oh that my goodness. That serve going out of bounds. There's just. Side out. Coaches are cringing on the benches, missing serves. Nicole Frage coming out of the game for the Lady Admirals. Amy Mahalski serving. That oh my goodness. Are they getting tired? I even hope not. Sectionals are coming. They can't be tired for sectionals. They should be ready to go. Yeah, sectionals for both these teams yes. right around the corner. They, they've got to be ready to play three hard games. As we indicated, this match taking place right now, Thursday, October 10th, and they go into sec uh, sectional action on Tuesday, October 15th. And a point for Southview, five to two. Christina Shuka serving for Southview. Nice pass. And that okay. shot by Heather Salva out of bounds. Point number six. I think King looks pretty flat right now. Somebody's got to wake him up. Southview's got momentum. That Shayla might Gilbert. Wake him up. Getting that ball. Side out now. Admiral King will serve. Lynn Rossitano. And that hit back by Christina Mantini going out of bounds. Side out. Southview gets the ball back. They lead by four, 6-2. Good pass. Here it comes. Christina Jackson. Nice shot. Put it right in the court. 7-2. And we've got a timeout on the court. King's a little flat, 
And Southview has the momentum. As you can see, uh, coaches Gina Kelly and Sharon Griffith talking to their Lady Saints. They've got the five-point advantage, 7-2 here in game three. The first game won by the Lady Admirals, 15-5, as they came out like they were going to take it all real quick and go on home. But for some reason or another, in game two, won by the Lady Saints, 16-14. Lady Admirals got a bit stale and a little careless on the hit backs. And Southview took advantage. And some missed serves and that can't happen when you're down. Oh, my. Major miscommunication there on the Saints' part. Christina Jackson saying, yeah, that was me, my fault. <laughs> Side out and Shayla Gilbert. Serving for Admiral King. Uh-oh. Nice pickup by Amy. Amy Mahalski, yes indeed. Shayla Gilbert. No way, I cannot believe he calls that. I cannot believe he calls that. Well, he did, and that means yes, side did. out. And for Southview, Anita nice Cruz save. serving. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was a late call. It was a good call because that was a, a, a lift. You saw how that slapped off her hands, but they waited an awful long time. I think the crowd kind of. On the side Welcome out, up. Heather Salva serving for Admiral King. That one hit out of bounds, so it will be King's point, 7-3 now. Lady Admirals trailing by four. Oh, that's good. Oh, my goodness. Nice play off the net by Mantini. Woo! That's a kill by Christina Jackson. Side out, Southview will serve. Brittany Ruiz. Good up. That didn't even go over. He should have called that long before that. And a point for Southview. They lead now by five, eight to three. Brittany Ruiz continuing to serve. And that one is knocked out of bounds. Nine, three. Lady Saints six points away from winning this game and the match. King's just falling apart. Point Southview, 10 to three. And again, Admiral King calling timeout. Coach Mike Maletti wants to talk it over. We'll be back right after this. Your one-stop place for something really special is Impressions, corner of Oberlin Avenue and Tower Boulevard. T-shirts and sweatshirts personally designed to your specific needs. Anything from bears, trains to zebras, and specially designed hats as well. And don't forget Impressions, your one-stop spot for school jackets. See Dave, the designer expert at Impressions, Oberlin Avenue at Tower Boulevard, right here in Lorraine. Well, while we were away, uh, Southview managed to lose the serve side out, and it's uh, Miss Connolly, Caitlin Donnelly, serving for the Lady Admirals. 10 to three, Saints leading by seven. Nice save by the Saints. And that one knocked out of bounds by Nicole Frage, so side out. He called a tip. He called a tip. Wow. And the other, Point. the other official wants to discuss it. 
Well, it was the line judge in, in the back corner over there called the tip, and he can call that, which drew attention, and so therefore King gets point. Well, they haven't put the point on the board yet. That one's in. So it should be 10-5. No, it should be 10-4, I believe. It wasn't. Cause Cause that was side out. <clears throat> yeah, 10-4. All right, 10-4. Nice shot. Way to stay with it. Ooh. Christina Jackson hitting that one out of bounds. 10-5. You know, I said it last time. It's not important that you do a, a fancy serve or a hard serve when it's this. When, when you're down by six, you've got to get it over. And that's her third missed serve in important situations. And if I was the coach, I'd, I'd be thinking about substituting when it came to her serving. Well, apparently somewhere along the line, I have lost count of what's going on <laughs> in this uh, third game. I, I indicated 10-5, and it's 10-4. Side out, and it goes back to Admiral King. 10-4, Lady Saints leading by six. Amy Mahalski serving for Admiral King. Tight, coming back. And a point for Admiral King, 10-5. Now, now it's 10-5. Now it's 10-5. You were just predicting. Was, I was psychic. Yeah. Yes. And if you believe that, I've got some swamp land. <laughs> For sale, Amy Mahalski continues to serve. Comes a shot. Oh, she faked him oh, out. And Lynn Rossitano just couldn't save it. Good play by Christina Shuka. Side out. Christina Shuka will serve for Southview. Good save by Sheila. Here comes a shot. There it is. And that one off the fingertips of Southview's LaShondra McClinn going out of bounds. So it's side out. Admiral King gets the serve back. Lynn Rossitano. Good serve, good pass. Oh, somebody's got to wake there. up. Four hits, only allowed three. And that time, your, Lynn took the first hit, and she's the setter, so she can't take that second hit. King just was like, who's going to take the ball? They've got to be ready for that. Coming back. Southview point, Alicia Neely is serving for Southview. It's 11-5, four points away from winning this game and the match. Oh, oh Christina couldn't Jackson that. couldn't get it on the right side of the net. Side out, Shayla Gilbert will serve for Admiral King. That's in. Ooh, that was close. Blocked by Jamie King, but it went out of bounds. That so was tight. Side out, Southview. Anita Cruz will serve. Nice serve. Nice pick up by Mary.
Up. I'm Up surprised he didn't Maple. call over on that one. He did every other time. <laughs> Heather Salva now serving. Good serve. Uh-oh. And a point. 11-6. I don't think you're going to get to see your show. Maybe in the reruns. This is a better show. Sun. Yeah, right now it is. Yeah. I agree with you. It's a better show. I agree with you, and the fans are really into it. Yes, they are. All right. It's a game. 11-7, and we've got a timeout on the floor as we continue here at Lorraine Southview High School. Just a reminder again, these two teams would certainly appreciate your support when they hit the tournament trail on Tuesday, October 15th at 6.30 p.m. at Midview High School in Grafton. It will be Admiral King going against Brunswick. Then at 7.45, also at Midview High School, and again on October 15th, that's a Tuesday, it will be the Lady Saints going against the Westlake Lady Demons. I think the Brunswick is the Blue Devils, so there you go. Uh, the, <laughs> the King team going against the Lady uh, Blue Devils and the Lady Saints going against the Westlake Lady Demons. There you go. Oh, oh, how do you not get that free ball over? Yucky. Another point for Admiral King. <laughs> they now trail by three in tying this game up, 11-8. Heather Salva still on the serve. Another free ball for King. Wow, she was off on that. Couldn't do much Christina with that. Jackson tried to get it across. It was blocked and dropped right back into the Southview court for another point, 11-9. Mm -hmm. Couldn't do much with that one. And oh. that one is in. That's an ace, 11-10. Third game, close. You, you, you play everything. <laughs> you don't let anything drop. Heather Salva is one excited player out yes, there. Yes, she is. Wow. Good pickup. Good save by Heather. Ooh, they could have called that. That was bad hands. In. Wow. Southie's out of whack right now. 11-11. We're all tied up. I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know why. That's the old volleyball coach. <laughs> yeah, <do>. I'm nervous. <laughs> now we've got a timeout called on the floor by the Lady Saints. And uh, what do you attribute this, this comeback all of a sudden? Because it was at one point 11-5 or 11-6, and, and the Admirals have, yes. uh, what, put five points in a row. Scrappy play, a couple good shots, and, and, and the ball game turns around. And that's basically what it was. They cut a couple good breaks because he had a couple missed serves at crucial times. But they came back, kept their heads, played scrappy, picked up some balls, got some good hits, and Southview made some mistakes. On the front line for the Admirals, we have Sarah Gittich, Christina Mantini, and Jamie King serving as Heather Salva. In the backcourt, Lynn Rossitano and Shayla Gilbert. Lady Saints now come back onto the court. This is a good practice for this uh, tournament coming up. Very good practice for them to get, you know, keep their composure and, and keep themselves in the game. Nice. Oh, Ooh, and a kill by Christina Jackson. Side out, Southview will get the serve. King got a little flat-footed. And Christina said, I can hit that down. <laughs> I think she's aiming for that lightning bolt <laughs> in that circle. Right in the middle of the floor. Yeah. Brittany Ruiz serving for Southview. Oh, nice and 
job. Matthews got the point. They now take a one point advantage, 12-11. I told you, I think she's aiming for that lightning bolt. She said, I can't hit it there, so I'm just gonna try to lob it, and it worked. Oh no, oh and no. The serve going out of bounds, so side out, King will get it back. Oh, they're confused. Caitlin Don't Donnelly be confused. Serving. Good pass. Way to stay there, Christina. There she goes again. He called a tip again. She probably did tip it, but I didn't see it. I'll just say, okay. Did she tip it? Okay. <laughs> We are tied at 12-12 uh -oh. and the serve by Donnelly going out of bounds, side out. The ball will go back to Southview, 12-12. I think both of these coaches need to take their team at practice and just make them serve and serve and serve. Probably the adrenaline flow is a lot greater right about now uh, yes. than uh, earlier. And with that extra adrenaline, you have a tendency to hit harder. I know, but when, but when you're playing Illyria's and, and teams that are, you know, composed, that's going to kill you. True. You know, it's going to kill you. you you've got to maintain yourself on that court when it's a close game and get that ball in. Side out, and it's Christina Mantini serving She's now. Got a good serve in there. That's good. Set up by Lynn Rossitano and. Plop right into the backcourt by Shayla Gilbert. Those serves are kind of like your foul shots in basketball. You, you've got to get them. You've got to make them. Lady Admirals now with a one-point advantage, 13 to 12. Christina Mantini continuing to serve. Good serve. Locked at the net by Admiral King. Saved by Shayla Gilbert. Got to set Shayla, set Shayla. Oh, she almost didn't get a piece of that. Ooh, ran into each other. Oh, nice save, Christina. Set Shayla. Wow, we are witnessing some outstanding volleyball. Oh, oh. nice play, Lashandra. I'm glad I'm not on TV because I'm wiggling all over this chair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's a call for that one, but that's just a bunny that, that's, right over the top. Exactly. That's you know that's called just the, the luck, whatever, because it was falling both ways, and it's just. Side out, Southview with the serve. They trail by one. It's 13-12, Admiral King. Side out, King gets the ball back. They need two points to win the game and the match. Set Shayla. Didn't I just say that, right? She's hot. Set Shayla. She's hot. Amy Mahalski serving. Our first contest between these two teams back at Admiral King lasted less than an hour. Won by yes. Southview in two games. Yes. This one going in excess of an hour and a half. Nice play by Lynn Rosatano. Nice play. 14-12, Lady Admirals need just one more point. And the officials want to do some talking. You know what? Ice in the, what I tell you? Ice in the server. Oh, they're going to yell at the crowd. <laughs> Uh-oh, what is that about? Can you do that at a football game? Hey, crowd, be quiet while they throw this pass. 
What is that about? Did they pay their admission to come into this volleyball I, and they're match? Not I do, do believe they exactly, did. Exactly, and they're not doing anything or saying anything wrong. That was uncalled for. There it is. Game over. Lady Admirals getting that last and 15th point to win this game 15-12 and to win the match in the best two out of three games. Ray and I will be back to wrap it up and to assess what we saw here tonight at Lorraine Southview High School, but first, this important timeout. Since 1921, your hometown financial professionals at First Federal Savings of Lorraine have dedicated themselves to meeting the financial needs of their customers and surrounding communities. They offer a wide variety of financial investments as well as home mortgages to meet your every need. Loans on boats, cars, mobile homes, and other worthwhile purchases are also available. Whatever your financial need, First Federal Savings of Lorraine is ready to help. Seven convenient locations to serve you in Lorraine, Huron, Sandusky, Port Clinton, and now at 36690 Detroit Road in Avon. First Federal Savings of Lorraine is an equal housing lender and FDIC insured. Well, Ray, CSI comes on in six minutes, and you know what? I don't really care. No. <laughs> we saw some fantastic volleyball here tonight at Lorraine Southview High School. Of course, the match going to the Lady Admirals. And like you said, last year when we covered these teams, one team won at one school and the other team won at the other school. It was like, you, you know, you win and then we win. And the same thing happened here in this 2002 volleyball season. Your assessment of tonight's match. Well, I think King came ready to play. I think they knew what they had to do. Shut down Christina Jackson. If they can shut down Christina and not have her be all over the court hitting the ball everywhere, they could win. And they did that. They shut her down and took, took the game. All right. The first game, of course, won by the Lady Admirals as they came out, as we've indicated several times already, like a house on fire, 15-5. Then in the second game, uh, the Southview Lady Saints coming from behind to go ahead and ultimately win that game 16-14 to send it into the third and the concluding game. Won by the Lady Admirals by a 15-12 score. So we salute uh, Coach Maletti, who wraps up the regular season with a 14-8 record, while the uh, Lady Saints uh, wrap up their regular season with a 16-5 and five record. And as we've indicated already several times, both these teams will be going into sectional tournament play on the same night, Tuesday, October 15th, at Midview High School in Grafton. The Lady Admirals will be playing at 6.30 against Brunswick, the Lady Saints at 7.45 against Westlake. So we certainly hope you'll get behind these two teams, get out there and root them on to victory on the tournament trail. They deserve your support. And Ray, I just want to extend my deep appreciation for your support again in our two games that we've done this season on TV20. And Lord willing, and hopefully we'll be back to do it again next season. All right. Sound like a winner? Sounds like a winner. All right, great. Don't forget more sports action on TV20 with high school football game nine features the Admiral King Admirals against uh, Cleveland Heights, and the 10th and final game of the season will pit the two teams against each other, King versus Southview, and you'll see it all on TV20. For my partner, Ray Bastock, for our cameraman, producer, and director, Joe Bach, I'm Ron Bacalar. Good night, everyone. This has been a production of Lorraine City Schools, TV20, WLCS. Hello, I'm Chief Sal Rivera. And I'm Officer Michael Phelan. This year, the Lorraine Police Department, in partnership with Lorraine City Schools and the Morning Journal, is introducing an exciting new program called Do the Right Thing. The purpose of the program is to publicly honor and recognize kids who display proper behavior and proper attitudes. You can pick up a nomination form in your local city school or in the Lorraine Morning Journal. 
Let's fill out those nomination forms so we can honor the kids who do the right thing in the city of Lorraine.